the government of India has set a target. A target to make India a global drone hub by the year 2030. To give impetus to this vision, various policy interventions have taken place to give a fillip to domestic manufacturing. Rules for the registration and operation of drones has been eased. Along with it, the production-linked incentive worth Rs 120 crore has been announced to boost the manufacturing of drones. During the inaugural event of India's biggest drone festival, Bharat Drone Mahotsav, the PVNS team interacted with the Secretary of the Technology Development Board, Mr. Rajesh Kumar Padak, who stated that we have an ecosystem where we can not only produce for our own use, but we can be a world leader to export the drones. Look, drone technology is now gaining ground. The kind of government supports is coming in. The kind of relaxation is norms. And August 2021, we relaxed. Uh, the government has relaxed this flying drones norms. So there is a very good usage in agriculture sector, in defense, and uh, many more sectors. Honorable Prime Minister said. So I foresee the drone as a technology is. The idea whose real time has come now in India and we have the ecosystem where we can not only produce it, not only for our own use, but we can be a world leader to export the drone because we have the technical capacity, we have the entrepreneurship and we have this young startup coming in. So many fields, so many of them is uh, is coming the drone also. One of such a startup we funded from Technology Development Board who has created history on 29th of January. So this was IIT uh, Delhi incubated. As um, I told in my speech uh, that uh, that Commissioner Police uh, Asthana ji, he was saying about that neutralization and all. Again, in a good startup, young startup from IIT Patna, he has developed a technology. Some sort of you can understand, like it is a, it a rifle. So you can you just fire the drone, it will not only neutralize, but it will come down to the same place. So technology are uh, developing. So we have the capability and 100% sure India will be leapfrogging it. And by 2030, we will achieve the Honorable Prime Minister dream of becoming India as a hub for the drones. Very insightful, sir. Sir, um, like you said, like you mentioned about the manufacturing, indeed we are uh, targeting towards getting indigenous. But uh, if we look at the drone, every component, like you said, from a screw to the final output, it should be indigenous. It should be made in India. How the journey towards that will be uh, initiated and fulfilled at the end? Look, Madam, we have just taken a baby step. Not only I can say baby step, jump. But obviously, if any nascent industry or growing industry, you can't expect everything at day one. So normally still people are importing this component, fine. But slowly, slowly, when this demand will grow, this kind of ancillary unit will come out, who will design and will produce those, uh, uh, those imports or those uh, component, the cost will come down. I give you one example. How Maruti Suzuki is able to uh, sell their uh, their mm. cars in India because of this low cost. Mm. So we have that uh, know how we have, we have the lower manpower. Once now the only thing is that once this industry start growing, once this manufacturing of drone start growing and usage in the field, people will come. And people will come, people will start manufacturing it. So, insulin unit will develop and accordingly, that's how the ecosystem develops. And now the government is supporting, government is accepting support, PLI is scheme. You say 60,000 industry, government, 60 crore industry, government has given PLI scheme 120 crores. So, similar things are uh, policy, uh, uh, conducive policy is being taken by the government. Plus, from science and technology ministry, we are there to support. So, any uh, startup through your uh, medium, I am in inviting all uh, young entrepreneurs who have any idea, good idea regard, regarding any manufacturing component of drone, please come to us, we will support you and man, start uh, produce, uh, manufacture, uh, establish your plant and manufacture it. The first organization of its kind, the Technology Development Board, within the government framework, aims to translate the fruits of indigenous research into commercial products or services. Their objective is to accelerate the development and commercialization of indigenous technology or adaption imported technology to wider domestic applications. The board is responsible for extending financial assistance in the form of equity, soft loans or grants. 
it is important to mention that TDB promotes new ideas from small enterprises even at the risk of failure and invests in core technological strength to enable the Indian industry to stand up to the competitive pressure and become a global player.